There are a few reasons that I am going to be rebuilding the PC you see behind me. One of those reasons is because the pump reservoir that I am using in there isn't exactly what I wanted to do in the first place, but EK has released a new set of pump reservoirs that will help me get the look that I was actually trying to achieve in the first build that I didn't get to do because of space restrictions. So first let's talk about what's in there right now. What we've got back there in there is just their regular uh, EK res pump combo. It's their Plexi 140. Uh, nothing special about it. It's not even actually the one that I was supposed to put in there. And what ended up happening is I ordered it uh, online from Micro Center. I actually ordered the RGB version and when I went to pick it up, I didn't pay attention to the box. I got home, it was Plexi, not RGB, not RGB. dealt with it, lived on, carried on big whoop. But now with it time for me to rebuild this PC, or at least me making the decision to rebuild this PC uh, in the Enthu 719, I'm going to go ahead and make one very big change. But this is the EK Quantum Kinetic. This is the TBE 300. This is the RGB version in Plexi. EK sells these in four different variants, two sizes, but each of those sizes has two different forms. So they have Acetal in 200 and 300, and they have Plexi in 200 and 300. The, really, the difference is just the size of the tube, and it's 200 millimeters versus 300 millimeters. But we're gonna go ahead and take a quick, quick look at this before we get this into the build. I already know how this is gonna go. That's why you see this here. This is mounted on the 120 mil fan mount. This is going to go in the bottom of the Enthu 719 on top of the 240 millimeter radiator. Now you can see it is much taller, uh, obviously. 300 millimeters versus 140 millimeters, which is what the res pump in there comes in at. The big selling point is you can see up top here, there are three inlets on the top here. So this, and they actually include a tube here. So if you are using this as a return, uh, they've already got the tube there for you. But this makes it easier if you've got this running towards the top of your case and you wanna run a fill port. I couldn't think of the word. Fill port, I'm, that's the word I'm looking for. So if you wanna run a fill port to the top, you've got an option to do this. So, but the other thing that I really like is you've got the two here. This is the in, this is an out. So you've got your in and your out like normal, but they have a third one over here on the side. And this one you can be, you can use as like a drain port. And I like that much better. And so for me, that simplifies where I wanna put my drain valve. So if you look at the inside of my build, I have a tube running from the radiator to this splitter that then runs off into the reservoir pump and then to the drain valve. And so as you can see, that tube just runs straight out of sight. The, the drain valve itself is out, is less resting on the bottom. And what I will do is there's another tube with a fitting on it and I will attach that to the end of the drain port before I go to drain the system. But this will allow me to actually run a drain port from here to the actual front of the case where there is a hole that you can use as a drain port and I will have it configured. I have a pass-through fitting so that I can just attach a hose to the end of that open up the, the port and everything just runs the way it's supposed to. So it'll make things a lot easier, but talk is cheap. Let's get into what this is gonna look like in its final product. Let's get to the build. And here it is, the, quant the EK Quantum Kinetic TBE 300 in the build. It's kind of leaning just a very, of ever so slightly. I, I think it's the fan bracket. It's the mounting bracket, I believe. I, I tried putting a washer underneath the left corner here and it didn't, it alleviated it very slightly, but it's still tilting ever so slightly. But for the most part, I think it looks great. I really like the implementation of the LEDs being behind this little black ring that kind of helps subdue them a little bit. Now, obviously when you're sitting up 
and you're looking at it, you're looking right at the LEDs and that can be a little bit bright. Uh, but for the most part, it's it's a pump reservoir combination. It's doing what it needs to do. It's sending the fluid through the loop as I need it to do. Uh, I've kind of tweaked the configuration a little bit. I initially had the, por the ports on this radiator, which was a thicker radiator on the bottom and it kind of had to come up. I've ultimately been able to work that out to where with a slimmer radiator, I have them at the top. And I also have a fill port coming out of there. So the really nice thing about this pump res combination and I really like that EK did is the multiple inlets that you have on the top of the lid as well as another one down at the bottom and then the ability to have two different outlets so that you can have your tube run go out to the rest to the main loop and then you have another one that leads to what you can set up as a drain port so I really like that EK did that it makes setting this thing up much easier and still gives you one more if you want to use a squeeze bottle with a tube to, to fill the loop or as I did set up a fill port that goes to the top of the case uh, I don't really have any complaints I have nothing that really came across as being bad or difficult about this and can't really say anything negative about it at this point in time. There is a very, very slight nick in the front of the reservoir though. I believe that was from, that, that had to have been for me because I don't recall that being there before, but it's very minor. I will keep an eye on it, but it's, it's, more, it's not really a nick, it's like a scratch and I don't really know how it got scratched. That was most definitely from me handling it. It did not come out of the box that way because I would have noticed it sooner than that. The EK Quantum Kinetic TBE comes in two different sizes as mentioned earlier. Plexi, obviously, you can see here. The nickel, the acetal one I didn't really like because it looked like the LEDs were more exposed. I could be wrong. I don't have it in hand to be able to verify it, but the Plexi one definitely looks really good. And I would certainly say that EK did a good job here. So if you're looking for a really big pump reservoir combination in that $185 to $210 range, US dollar, uh, they've nailed it pretty well. A uh, lot of options for routing things into it and out of it, and that makes a big difference when you're trying to plan a loop. So good job here, EK. Pretty good quality product, and I would definitely recommend it. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and let me know what you think of this product in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.